بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر کامران یوسف سندھو فرام دی ریسرچ انکیوبیشن فار سسٹینیبل ڈیولپمنٹ دس از مائی سیکنڈ لیکچر آن سلیکشن آف اے ریسرچ ٹاپک ہاؤ ایور ان دس لیکچر وی ول ٹرائی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا سبجیکٹ ود دا زوم آف وائی ہو واٹ ویئر وین اٹ از آبویس دیٹ سلیکشن آف ٹاپک از دا first step in the research process and you must be aware that selection of a good topic may not be very easy. However, it must be narrow and focused enough to be interesting yet broad enough to find adequate information. How can a successful research project starts with a good topic but how can you decide what to pick? This is the question and statement of this lecture. We know that the ability to develop a good research topic is an important skill. Instructor may assign you some specific topic, however, he can demand some topic from your side. So once you have started this journey, you must understand and follow few things in this regard. The first one is brainstorm for ideas. Discuss with your fellows. Discuss with your senior fellows, peers, faculty members. Choose a topic that will enable you to read and understand the literature. This is very much important that you are getting the complete picture of your topic from literature support. Ensure that topic is manageable and material is available. So if you have selected a topic for which literature is not available, you may face some difficulties. So it is better that topic must be manageable and material is available. Use of keywords is recommended. Like you can explore libraries, you can find some good sources from Google scholars and many other portals in this regard. Next point is be flexible. You may find some uh, Uh, some different points during the research journey. So you have to change some uh, uh, dimensions. So you must be flexible enough. Define your topic as a focused research question. Everybody see your supervisor and if you are at a defense stage later on. So the panel is able to understand your statement. So it should be written in a focused research question. Finally, formulate a thesis statement which can help you to reach out your results. In this process, think of why, who, what, where, when, like why. Why did you choose the topic? What kind of interest do you have for exploration of this? Is there any opinion about the issue which you are going to investigate? Who are the information providers on this topic? Who can publish this information? Who can be affected by the topic? Which organization is affiliated? Next is what? What are the major questions for this topic? What about the debate? Is there any debate or issue or viewpoints? Where? Where is your topic important? Whether it is important at local level? or at international level. Are these specific places are being affected or not? When? When was your topic important? Or when is important? Are you working on a current issue? Or you are exploring some historical facts? Is there a need to compare your topic by time period? In the process of topic selection, And if there is too much information, there is a need to narrow your topic down. On the screen, you can see some points like theoretical approach. So there is a need to limit your topic to a specific approach, then aspect or sub area. There is a need to consider only one piece of the subject. 
So if you are talking about textile sector, you need to understand the government regulations regarding the textile industry. Similarly, time. So you have to limit the time span you examine and you have to draw some levels that in which you are able to get the results. Next one is population group. You need to limit by age, sex, ethnic group, race, occupation, I mean to say demographically, if you are looking for trades in men, then you can target 40 years, 30 years of age or 20 years of age. So if there is a population group or demographically, you have to draw some limits so that you can present enough information. The next one is geographical location. So if you are talking about a country, so rather than taking into account the whole country, better to restrict yourself on some certain city or province or that area which you can measure and you can get results. However, on the other side, if you have narrowed down your topic and not much information is available, then you can broaden your topic so as to give maximum information related to the subject. It means not finding enough information. Think of related ideas or read some background information first. You may not be finding enough information for several reasons, like uh, too specific. If you are too specific, then you have to broaden. If the subject or the topic is too new and very little information is available, then there is a need of broaden your topic and if there are enough databases are not available so you have to work on it so as to get support of that databases and if there are less common words when reading background information note how your topic is expressed in this material when you find citation in an article database see how the topic is expressed by the experts in the field this slide is giving more information about too broad or too narrow category. For example, skill development. Skill development is too broad, not giving you the exact boundary. But if you will narrow it down, you can write impact of government regulations in Pakistan on skill development. Similarly, we can consider it narrow for a study like impact of skill development on garment sector of Lahore. But better one is impact of skill development on garment sector of a province. So rather than putting focus on the city, you can recommend a province. Thank you very much. I hope that this lecture will help you to understand and uh, selection of your topic for your research thesis or article. If you have any question, you are free to contact me on my email address or you can comment in comment box. Thank you very much.